What's good, gang? What happens on Earth stays on Earth. I'm your host, B. I'll be in the picture shortly. What's good, gang? I am tired. I'm exhausted. Just got done working out with my brother. We were out in the sun, so I don't really care to talk loud. That's why I brought the mic out. I don't really like holding on to this mic either when I talk. So I'm going to do my best. Um, the last vlog that I did was about an artist visit that I did at the exhibition in Newark um, where the students from NJIT came to visit. And once again, I'm wishing you guys the best on your final projects. You feel me? Finish that semester strong. Um, but I'm trying to bring more vlogs to you guys just because I do a lot of time lapses and I know that my mind goes a thousand miles a minute. And a lot of times people don't understand where the connections are really coming from. Um, so I figured that maybe by doing these vlogs, you guys get a moment to talk to me because, you know, it is my life's work, just my life work, you know? Um, but yeah, the last couple of days, let's see what we have been doing. We have been organizing so much material, so many references. I feel like that is all I've been doing. So many prints, so many photos, just organizing, creating a plan. Shout out to my cousin, man. Because you used to always say time flies fast when you devise a plan. And he's right. So I feel like the days are moving a little bit faster, even though they don't feel super explosive. I know that I'm getting something done every single day. And in the end, that's going to count. I don't always feel like it's counting. But it will count. Um, let's see. Um, so, yeah, today I want to prime another sheet of black paper. Just because it's like, it's getting so hot that I feel like anytime I have to prime something, I'll try to do it at the beginning of my studio session just because it'll dry pretty fast. And I got a lot of organizing to do today. Um, but let's, let's give a recap of what I'm, what I'm trying to tackle or what I'm trying to do so you guys could see where my headspace is at, I guess. The pieces we will be working on this the first week of May. Um, Hopefully for the first half of May, we got a soldier came home. We have a soldier came home is right behind me. I'll talk more about this one, but right now I'm in love with it so far. And that's the problem with me. Like I be, I don't always love what I'm doing, but when I do fall in love with it, I feel like I'm ready to just leave it. Like I don't even want to keep working. Sometimes I do have a final vision in my mind and I'm like, who cares if we get there? But then it's me. I care. I care. Um, so we have a soldier came home right behind me. We have um, we have Sunday service one, Sunday service two. Um, I'm also working on Black Soprano Family. I'm working on Ali. I am working on the Ballad of Naima. And. Um, yeah, we're all going to get it done. I'm still organizing other files. I'm trying to uh, implement a plan to just read a little bit more throughout the day because I know I play a lot of audio books, but just physically holding the material, which is like exhausting to me because I just like to multitask. I like to do more than one thing at once. And I feel like when I do read and I'm just holding a physical copy of paper, like I really got to give it that time. So i um, trying to create more time for that in the daily Still going to be doing the audio book. Still going to be listening to music. Um, and um, the other day, I, I had this, like, complaint to myself. I was like, damn, I feel like I'm never going to catch up to the work. And I almost said it, like, in a negative way. And there was nothing negative about that. You know, I just feel like a lot of times when I am moving, I could be daydreaming. I could be driving to work. I could be running around the neighborhood. Like, literally anything in the line to get a sandwich. And usually, like, my mind is just processing different problems, you feel me? So I feel like since I can't shut this processor off, I might as well try to attack as many of the good ideas as possible, you know? Like I said, man, don't judge me by my bad ideas, you feel me? Because, you know, maybe you guys are just tune out before y'all hear my masterpiece, you know? Um, but we're finally busting out some oils again. Oil paint, I missed you. I really did. I really did miss you. 
Um, acrylic is super handy, super resourceful. There's a ton of things that you could do. It's super versatile. But um, I mean, I just love oil paint. So um, now that the weather's better, I got these windows cracked all the way open. I got good ventilation in here. Um, yeah, we about to turn this studio out this summer, man. We're going to work. That's it, man. Just public enemy. Every day, brick by brick. But like I was saying, I had this feeling like, yo, I'm never going to catch up to the work. And I was just reading through, like, my old sketchbooks. I found one of my sketchbooks from college. And I do a lot of writing in my sketchbooks, way more than I do drawing, to be honest. Just because it's a thread of thoughts that I feel like is always changing. So it's nice to see the thread of thoughts like the way it was like conceived, you feel me? Like that initial, and then if we want to make alterations, we can make alterations, but you know, I just don't want to mess up what the blueprint was ever, you know? Um, and one of the quotes in there, it said, um, you want to get to the point or I wrote this down. I was like, one of my goals, I was like, I want to get to the point where I can never catch up to the work. And I don't know why I wrote that down in 2015, but if I look back on my last three years, I have been feeling like it. I've been like not not been able to keep up and I feel like I'm always I'm always working on something. So I mean that in the best way possible, you know, just because I won't get an idea and put it in the queue for too long anymore. Just because that when that initial feeling goes away, I feel like I am so far from that idea or concept that I don't want to jump back into it, you know. So I feel like a lot of times when I do have an idea, I write it down. And then while I'm working on something else, I might take a little break or I'm thinking about it while I'm working on it. Or like I said, 15 minutes before I go to bed or when I just wake up, I'm just thinking, I'm like, well, what if we did this? It's almost like this kind of like, um, I sketch in my head a lot all the time. So it's like everything that I'd be seeing people do like with Photoshop and shit like that, I could do just right in here. I just need to understand the technology. I'm going to master Photoshop and all of that, you know, but for now, yeah, my brain is, my brain is what I got. Um, um, damn, I had something else to talk about too. So yeah, soldier came home. No, I'm actually not going to spoil that. I'm not going to tell you too much about it right now. You guys could see what it looks like right now, but, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, maybe next week I'll tell you more about the meaning of it. And hopefully by next week we can get into, let's see, let's see Sunday service one and two. Um, Ali and Coltrane. So we'll see. But I'm also going to prime another sheet of paper right now. So let's do that first. Let's do that first. Hopefully you guys can still hear me all right. I'm literally in love with this painting. Oh my gosh. And sometimes that's scary. Sometimes you can love a painting too much in the beginning and you know, you're scared to do things the way you normally do them. But for now, We're going to say, fuck the fear, and we're just going to keep going full throttle. Did I draw on you yet? This paper isn't that heavy, but it isn't like super duper flimsy. Um, and because I roll a lot of paper just to conserve space, especially for like these larger rolls, this roll is actually three times this, but I like cut the pieces um into thirds just so i could manage it better because technically i had this roll wouldn't be able to stand in this room so if the roll is taller than the room you can't work in it so if somebody want to give me a huge studio man just watch what i do with it gang okay 
Shit. Not me dropping all these pins. I hope I don't step on any of them. Let's go. Pull these down for just a little bit. Okay. Let's get those pins you dropped. And sometimes I just spray it down with just a little bit of water. Let the paper absorb that. While it's taut. And um, it'll start to remember its shape. I don't have to worry about just wanting this right away so I'm not in a rush. Like I said, this is for some future projects. So sometimes sometimes that's how I just go about my studio time, man. We're doing something for today. Always we gotta work on something for the pre like for the present. Then it's usually from something from the past that I need to catch up on. And then I'm always just preparing something for the future because like I said the ideas are always coming. So um, let me lock in for real now, gang. Okay?